And it was a treat. Burton's last year's runner-up and up for grabs for Simona Halep, the world number one status. Tracy, you called this one. What do you make of it? It was a beauty. It really was. We expected it because they both are so comfortable on play. The signature backhand down the line from Halep. And she got the opening break. She was up 4-2. But then Kiki Burton's on fire. She takes six games in a row. Just started using her height on her shots to get it out of the comfort zone of Simone Halep. Only five foot six, and she hit an awful lot of balls above shoulder height. And then it was Halep. Look at this overhead. Just does not do enough with it. And Burton's with great anticipation and measuring the law perfectly. Wow, look at that, Dad. <laughs> so then Burton's, watch this right here. Kiki Burtons is going to hit this overhead off the frame, and it's going to strike Simona Halep. The ball is going way out, and Halep could not get out of the way. That would have been 15-40, two break points for Simona Halep. Instead, it goes to 30-all, a long back-and-forth game and a lot of pressure, and then Kiki Burtons was able to hold there. And this is the first set point. Great nerves. Handled that beautifully by Simona Halep. And then it was the second championship point. Backhand drop shot was effective. Look at that beautiful reaction. It's a great smile, isn't it, from Kiki Burton's. It has been a wonderful rise of the rankings over the last couple of years. Let's hear from the newly crowned Queen of Madrid. On the clay, I really feel like that I can play my own game. Um, even like when I don't play well, I'm still I'm not panicking too much, uh, which on the other surface sometimes happens a little happens a little bit too much. But uh, yeah, on clay, I feel I feel the confidence, I feel the the balance in my game. So um, it's easier to return for me as well because I can go a little bit more back. So I feel like in every almost in every game I have some opportunities. So uh, yeah, it gives it gives me a good balance, I would say. Yeah, the feats of Siniakova, Ostapenko, Sevastova, Kvitova, Stevens, and Halep. It's been quite a rise, hasn't it, from this lady? It really has. Since the start of 2016, she has the most wins on clay of the WTA. 68th win today, 27 aces this week, and that pushes her past Pliskova. A couple more than Pliskova overall this year. And then 24th match win in 2019, third on the WTA. Just phenomenal for Kiki Burtons. For someone who just broke into the top 10 last year and when she won Cincinnati in the middle of the summer last year, a lot of people were surprised. Not surprising anymore. And put her in the conversation as a possible winner at Roland Garros. 100%. Mm, and we remember as well that late last year she got engaged. That's the reason why. That's the reason for the rise, <laughs> isn't it? Well, it was interesting to hear her comments that she likes clay because it gives her a little bit more time. We know about her powerful game obviously starts with the serve but she's got those big strong ground strokes as well and it's interesting giving herself a little bit more time she doesn't feel as rushed on the clay yeah that framed ball when it hits Simona Halep on the right side kind of things were going the right way for Kiki Burton's today weren't they they were everything was going her way and it was so unlucky for Simona because honestly I had never seen that before and this is what Kiki Burton's did so well is to get the ball off the court and up high on Simona Halep, only five foot six. And she had to really hit a lot of balls up above the height of her head and pushing Simona about 12 feet behind the baseline there. Usually it's Halep who is hugging the baseline and dictating play. Kiki Burton's played a very measured and really effective game style. So aggressive, but patient when she needed to be. So who wants to hit balls up here? I mean, nobody, really. Nobody. And that's Not what on Cici, clay, that's not for on sure. Play. And that's what Tsitsipas, <laughs> I think, did to Nadal effectively. Yeah. A really good game plan, but it's hard to execute on a sustained level. Yeah, and we mentioned as well that frame ball that hit Simona Halep on the right thigh. It was going out, and Simona was running to just try and get out of the way, actually. But Lady Luck was with Burton today, taking nothing away from her well, skill Well, this set. is incredible, because Burton didn't even hit this in the center of the racket. She hit it off the frame, and then Simona Halep's about 125 pounds. Are you kidding? She's so tiny, <laughs> yeah. and it just happens to hit her in the whole entire court. And it was a huge point, because it would have been 15-40, and you felt like Simona, as she always does, was finding a way to get back into that match. Yeah. But instead of 15-40, it was 30-all.
Actually, we said it as well. We thought Simona was just going to grind her way back into this one. Kiki Bertens goes to four in the world, one better than the great Dutch player that was Betty Stowe. But as you said, Tracy, she is a threat from now on on all clay. You know, we've got to give congratulations. You gave the standing ovation yeah. to Sitsi I gave a bit I've of got to, in the yeah, as well. you did, and it, and well deserved for Kiki Bertens, her ninth title and four in the world. That is just incredible for someone that wasn't a top junior. Didn't get a lot of help from the Dutch Federation early in her career, so it's really been her and her coach and uh, such a, a magical year, year and a half for Kiki. Yeah, a quick word on Simona Halep as well. Uh, was she thinking about that? She would have known she could have gone to world number one there. She didn't usurp Naomi Osaka, unfortunately, but, you know, it might have been playing on her mind. Well, I think definitely it was on her mind. Every player wants to get back to number one, even if you've been there, for sure. But I still was very impressed with her attitude throughout. I mean, I think it was more about what Kiki Burton's did in that match. Kiki Burton's mm -hmm. really played at a high level, and we saw Simona Halep still enjoying the, the men's semifinal later on. So yeah. I think she was appreciative. It was another great week for her. She's made the final there four times now, walked away with two yeah. titles. She's trending in the right direction heading into the French Open. So much yet to discuss on this edition of Tennis Channel Live. We're going to go 